Pretend you are a Stack Overflow moderator. How would you answer this question? I'm gonna make a new directory for my little project. Make directory chat overflow. Let's change into that directory and npm init a new project. Yes, 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 yes. Open that up in VS Code. This is gonna be a web project, so we know we're gonna need an index.html. We're gonna need a uh, script file for JavaScript and styles for CSS. All right, ChatGPT. Show me how to create the UI of a chat GPT using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. First, we need this index file. Paste. Then we need this CSS. Paste. Then we need this JavaScript. Paste. All right, let's go live here. Ooh, ugh. Eyes are bleeding. I don't like this light UI, it doesn't match. Now update the CSS to look like chat GPT interface in dark mode. Here are the new styles. Bam. <laughs> look at that. We got dark mode. Now I want the user input box to always be at the bottom of the screen, just like ChatGPT. I guess it doesn't have introspection. It doesn't know how it itself looks. We need to tell it how it looks. Let's update the styles. And there it is at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> nice. It also explains to you what it's doing. Now I want to use Tailwind CSS instead of style sheet. We gotta change the HTML for that because we need to include Tailwind and all its inline classes. Hey, it looks pretty similar. Instead of a blue send button, use a little send paper airplane icon. It starts to generate the whole HTML, but I stopped it and says, don't generate the entire HTML, just the button. Sure, here you go, here's the updated button. And there's our airplane that's in light gray. Now read chat GPT responses from a JSON file. By the way, I used chat GPT to download some responses from my YouTube comments from a different video. Update the scripts to fetch the messages from the JSON file and display them when the page loads. Uh, no, I want to display the messages one at a time randomly after the user inputs text. Modify the script file like this. <laughs> By the way, my JSON file has HTML entities in it. Things that look like this. I want it to look like this instead. How do I do that? Well, you can use the built-in DOM parser. <laughs> All right, so I've added that in right there. Let's have a look. Hello, um, can you help me with my programming problem? You're doing it wrong. You need to post a link to a 100,000 word document that doesn't actually answer the question. Please? Close this off topic. <laughs> Why are you even trying to subscribe using insert frown upon programming language? You should rewrite it in insert supposedly better language. Pretty accurate. I've reported this comment and you will not be able to watch YouTube for 10 days. <laughs> These are entertaining. Please don't report me. I'll be good. He should have subscribed, but since he's just a lowly noob, perhaps a kind nudge in the right direction would have been more appropriate. Real Stack Overflow answer. Wow. You people are awesome. Just in case you're wondering where these replies are coming from, these are real replies, but they're done in jest from this video that I did about Stack Overflow. And I pinned a comment that says, can someone please help me? I don't know how to subscribe to this channel. There's 130 replies uh, giving all sorts of interesting suggestions. Did you try restarting your internet? That usually fixes everything. What a noob. I need a 10 page report on everything you have tried. We're gonna use GPT-4. Pretend you are a Stack Overflow moderator. How would you answer this question? I'm new to React, where do I begin? This this is how ChatGPT thinks Stack Overflow moderators should answer the question. Look at this. Hello and welcome to the React community. As a new React learner, it's important to start with a solid foundation. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to get you started with links with documentation, understand the basics of JavaScript, official React documentation, React tutorials. Wow. Create a new React app, learn by building projects, join the community, explore additional resources. Wes Boss makes it to the top of the list for React for Beginners resources. Don't be discouraged if you don't understand everything immediately. Be patient and keep building projects to reinforce your understanding. Good luck and happy coding. I told you to pretend you're a Stack Overflow moderator. What is wrong with you, noob?